What is going on guys? John here for another food review. And today, I am very excited. We are trying out the Miami Cuban sandwich from Arby's. Um, they always pretty much seem to do a good job uh, with all the different sandwiches they create from chicken, beef, brisket, pork, you know, you name it. Um, this was $10.36 for the medium combo. I got curly fries and a drink. Um, and to upcharge to a baked potato, which is what I initially wanted to do, uh, you had to make a little, a little trade there. So you have your fries with the combo, and then that's the baseline cost. You remove the fries, so you're, you're now negative. You add a dollar, and then you add another 89 cents for sour cream and butter. Um, $2 to steal my fries and give me a baked potato instead when Arby sauce and horsey sauce is completely free. I don't know, not the best, uh, the best sounding deal to me, so I got the fries instead. Um, here's the sandwich, let me get you in here for a close-up. All right guys, here we have the Cuban sandwich. Uh, looks all right, we have some mustard, we have some cheese, we have little seasoning on the pork right there, and uh, underneath we have some pickles, so it is the classic ingredients. It looks pretty tasty. Let's try it out. All right, let's eat. It is time to try out the Miami Cuban from Arby's. Here we go. Hmm. Kind of not a lot of sandwich going on in the sandwich, and typically. Arby's really hits the nail on the head with the amount of meat, cheese, toppings, and such included on their sandwiches. This is kind of, uh, kind of disappointing. Yeah, I don't know if I got an old one that had been sitting around, uh, but just all I'm tasting is dry bread with like a little bit of poverty mustard sprinkled on top. It's really not, uh, not doing it for me. All right, guys, so this is uh, definitely a miss from Arby's. Um, again, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, maybe, um, that it's an old sandwich, but don't serve old sandwiches then. So that's what we got. So that's what we're going to rate. Um, the pork is dry, um, not juicy at all. Little thin, crinkle-cut pieces of ham that are <sighs> would blow away in the wind. Um, the pork is okay, but, you know, really nothing is juicy or tasty. It just kind of tastes dry, everything all around, not even a lot of mustard on it to moisten things up. Um, I would like the moisture coming from the meat itself, ideally, but uh, because of the predicament we have found ourselves in, some more mustard would have helped. Um, you know, it's a simple sandwich. Ham, pork, pickles, mustard, and supposed to be grilled like a panini. This is not grilled, this is just put on a crouton-esque hoagie bun. Um, you know, no butter, no toasted, just kind of just not happy with it. Definitely not happy with it. Um, overall, guys, I'm gonna. This is. I mean, it was food, and I ate it, so it's got to get some points for that. Um, I'm gonna give this a three out of ten. Just dry, expensive, no taste. I mean, just very, very poor execution on the Miami Cuban sandwich. Maybe I'll try it again. Probably not. But um, yeah, terrible. So. Thanks for bearing with me uh, on that one. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later.